Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we finished that watery prison level, which ended in the 18th victim of Walter Sullivan. We got back to our apartment, saw this. Crying noises from inside of the hole, and uh, well, that's where we're going next. Let's see where the hole goes now. What are these noises? Right now it just sounds like general like wildlife or birds or something, but before it sounded like there was a monster right next to me. What is this place? those ambient sounds. Sounds sort of like what you'd hear in a forest. Or maybe the Amazon or something, I don't know. Gunshots? Jesus. What's a car doing here? Ugh. I heard someone's voice like they're getting hurt. I hear like monkeys? All sorts of noises. Whoa! Are you... Are you gonna attack me? Uh... Sort of looks like a person, sort of has two faces, sounded like a monkey, kind of. Only got ten shots left, it took five to kill that one, so I can only kill two more. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> what do you mean, ouch? She would have just Where exploded! from me. Yeah, my name's Henry. I'm Richard Braintree, from 207. What the hell's happened to us? That hole in this freaky world. But if you're here too, then there must be something wrong with the whole apartment building. That must explain what happened to that other guy, 
too. What other guy? The guy who lived in 302 before you. A journalist. He disappeared one day. He got pretty crazy towards the end. <sighs> Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out of here. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. Watch out for that kid. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, I just want to pause for a second. Um, so that person mentioned that the journalist that was in my room before me had a similar thing happen to them. The journalist must be the one whose notes I've been reading. The, the red journals, red diaries or whatever about investigating the cult and whatnot. Yeah. Um, should I try melee weapons? I probably shouldn't. But if I kill... I should just run away, actually. I shouldn't even kill them. If I kill them, it's going to take literally the rest of my ammo. Uh, there's just the one door right behind them, so... Uh, we run. Okay, come on. Get out of the way. That one was just standing its ground right there, huh? Whoa. What the fuck? That's something different. an undead, and that's the sword that kills undead permanently, isn't it? There's a weird sword stuck in his stomach, and he's holding something in his hand. Take the item in his hand? Yes. Ghost's key. It's probably gonna get up, of course. It's a sword stuck in his stomach, because it looks like it's pinning him down. Take it out? Yes. Extremely rare sword. When used against downed ghosts, it stops them in place. When pulled out, the ghost is revived. Okay, so this that can't actually kill them. It can just pin them. But they have to be... It has to be used against a ghost that's already downed. How do I down the ghost? And I can only pin one down at a time, and then I gotta come back for the sword? Oh. Yeah, you can't equip it as a weapon. You have to use it as an item on the ghost. Okay. God, that's a disturbing noise, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. None of the books in this bookshelf look particularly interesting. Looks like there was a party here just a little bit ago. Birthday cake and champagne here. Hard to tell where it is. I guess it's not on the ground, is it? I guess some of them were on the other side of this thing? Jeez. Try again, Henry. There you go. What? Fuck. I got a ghost. So I do need to do some damage to the ghost to make it go down, I guess?
Alright, this will be a good opportunity to try out that sword thing. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, Jesus. I know they do damage just by being in proximity, so this is bad. Uh, okay. Oh, just takes a- no! I- shit! I'm gonna keep taking a little bit more damage. I'm not that hurt yet. Please get out of my heart, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my medallion on. Fuck off. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, it's so creepy. It follows you. It just doesn't touch you. Ugh. Oh, I hate it. But yeah, I, I don't understand how you're supposed to get it to go down long enough to stick the sword in. What is this color? I, I don't know what that is. That's not a door. I guess that, ugh, fuckers. Wait. Oh, there we go. It was just, I couldn't see the equip design. Because it was uh, too bright behind the, the thing. It was like the same color as the text. I don't know where the ghost went, but it seems to have fucked off. What am I walking on? This... I don't know what it is. It looks sort of skin-like. almost looks like a spine running down the center of it. Something reeks. Shreds of skin or goo or something all around this room. sorts of sports supplies. Nothing particularly interesting. Sports supplies. Maybe we can find another golf club here. Heck yeah, five iron. Golf bag? Nothing inside. What about this golf club? I think it's broken. Bunch of golf clubs in here. Looks like they're all bent and broken. Filled with volleyballs. Aluminum bat. But this bat is made out of plastic. It's totally useless as a weapon. What about the one on the ground? Is that any different? Ah. Reasonably powerful and easy to use as a weapon. So it sounds like it's not going to break. I wonder if it's my new pipe. Similar length, better damage? Not very powerful. Easy to use. Reasonably powerful. Easy to use. Yeah, it sounds like it just does more damage. Similar attack pattern. Let's do a strong attack. Ooh, that takes a while to charge up. Does that take longer to charge up than this? It does. Yeah, look at how fast that goes up. Compare it to this, this takes almost twice as long. Maybe more. I wonder if that means it does more damage? It's 
Is there any way to block, by the way? I remember that was a thing that I never used because I don't think it worked very well in the other Silent Hill games. But like, while holding a weapon out, you could press a button. Whoa. Oh, there's a back step. So there's not just the side to side step, although I haven't found that terribly useful so far. Like this, but there's also a sudden back step. Oh, it's not even necessarily a back step. So if you have your weapon out and then you're just pressing in a certain direction, and then you press the B button on a Xbox 360 controller, then it just does a basically a a dodge in whatever direction you happen to be moving. So if you move the stick to the left and then press the button, you do a sideways dodge, the same as if you just use the left shoulder button. But also, if you don't press any direction and press the B button, it does a back step. Or if you press back explicitly with the B button, it also does a back step. Now, there's no forward step. Yeah, it's so actually that's better than the shoulder buttons. Much easier to use. And you can use it in multiple directions. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way to block. Which is fine. Oh, hey. Pull. Somebody at the front door. Better check on your neighbor soon. Yeah, I think Eileen is going to be the 19th victim. It's like something very bad is playing on their TV. It seems like it's hurting them or something. Weird. Well, I mean, I don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about it. Sadly. Okay. Is this where I came from? This map is so tiny and blurry. I thought I came, came into this place from a lower floor, though. So what is this? Why am I on an upper floor? No, I, I came from this direction, didn't I? Yeah, that's where I came from. Just those two doors, so then just this one that's unlocked. Okay, we gotta go this way. Can't wait to try out this bat. Ooh. doggies. That's... Ooh, that's gonna be a bit of an issue because we're in such close quarters, but... Should be fine. As long as the camera doesn't screw me over here. Like, I would love to see what's just two feet in front of me. Oh, this camera angle's cool. Look at that. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, there's those bugs on the wall. Pet shop. Dogs in a pet shop. That's appropriate. So we got a door there, but I want to see if there's... Uh, the 
dog didn't hear that? Oh, 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 move, 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 move. Oh, they're, oh, they're drinking from the bugs. Slurp, slurp. That's actually wonderful, they're bait. Um, it's enough cat food for an army of cats. Well, good. Let's get an army of cats. Keys. Albert's sports key. Well, I know where to use that. It's the one locked door back in the place. I want to hear a drink more. Slurp, slurp. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. I don't know if I should try the door in the back. Or if I should just go use the key. Uh, no, don't. Don't sprint. Don't sprint. Whew. Have to remind myself not to sprint. I'm trying to figure out what might be the critical path. The way through the pet shop or using the keys back here. Because I want to do the opposite of the critical path to begin with. Powerful, actually. I didn't take any damage at all. Also, that one looks different from the rest. It looks sort of like albino. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh, it's angry. Oh, <laughs> it's angry. Alright, this is saving a ton of ammo. Their attack range seems pretty short, shorter than I thought it'd be. God, that one back there is so much creepier than this one. They're so creepy. I'm going to just assume that other door in the pet shop was locked, or just totally unopenable.
Oh, this is around the area where that other guy fell off, I think. Because I see the... I think that's the car down there, and there's the hole. Yeah. That was still just such a hilarious scene. They fell with such incredible height and force, and they just slammed into the ground, and they would have just been broken and probably dead or horribly injured. But instead, they just went, ouch, like they stubbed their toe. Wait. Where do I go? Oh. Wasn't sure that was a door. Is that an elevator? about you live in that apartment too huh say you look a lot like a little punk that I once caught sneaking around there do you know something about what's going on hey hey you stop pretty sure that kid is basically the Antichrist Wait, so... Got a couple ways to go? Out here? Oh, I see one of those monkey things over there. It's running around. Or I can go down even further. Down a ladder. Did the controls work? Uh, three buttons lined up vertically. Top button, middle button, bottom button, forget it. That's weird. That's very odd. I wonder why they made this decision. So in the previous Silent Hill games, or wasn't it? Yeah, even in Silent Hill 1, Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3, whenever you went to use an elevator, you'd get a close-up on it as if you were using, uh, like entering a passcode to get into a door on a keypad. You get a close-up of it and you'd have to actually press on the button itself. But here, they're not doing that, they're just giving you text options. And in a very weird way, too. Because it says that they're lined up vertically, but then it doesn't present them in a vertical manner. There's the top left one, top right one, bottom left, and then bottom right, which is really weird. That's a bizarre decision. Where did we start from? Is the top one, would that go back to where we came from? I don't know. Seems like this elevator is going to take us to a lot of different places. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore more of this strange world of monkeys. <laughs>